Hi guys, so I finally got around to filming my makeup collection room tour. I had been wanting to show you guys all of this for a really long time, but I was in the process of reorganizing my makeup. I actually just re uh, arranged my entire room. On that side of the room, that's all Josh's stuff. So I'm probably not going to show you guys that stuff just because it's not mine to show. Um, and I didn't even tell him I was doing this video, so probably should just stick with my side of the room. This is basically just an extra room in the house that we use to get ready. By the way, I think I might actually start filming in here. This is my makeup right here, so this is like where I get ready. I feel like it just makes more sense to actually film here. Before we're all filming, it was kind of a guest. It wasn't even a room. It's kind of like a hallway. Ceilings are like this. I'm pretty tall, so it's a little claustrophobic up there, and it's just kind of unnatural because I don't ever really hang out up there. I'm never up there unless I'm filming a video. This is where I get ready. This is where I do my makeup. I did want to say really quickly, I am going to be showing you my makeup, and although this isn't like a kit, this is just my personal makeup, there's really not a ton here because I like to make sure that I'm always able to use everything I have. I hate wasting things. I hate when things go bad. The way I have everything organized is so that I can see everything that I have, and um... So it might look like a little bit more than it actually is, maybe. I was waiting for a really nice sunny day so that the lighting in here would really be pretty because it does, it gets like really sunlit and pretty in here because there's a bunch of windows. Um, that never happens. I just hope you guys can see everything. I guess we'll find out in a second. But um, yeah. I have a light set up over here so you can see everything. It's kind of gotten dark. It's been really dark the past couple of days, so I'm still trying to get my lighting in here figured out. So this is, yeah, there's my phone. I think I might have the ugliest iPhone cover ever known to man, but I'm never taking it off. It's pretty ugly. Um, basically, this is my little mirror. I think I probably got that at Home Depot would have these. It's not even like hanging up. It's literally just leaning up there. It's even started to kind of scratch the wall is probably not good but I really have to show you my light set up here basically what they are are these little hooks that you hang on the back of the door to hang up your towels and they usually go like this so I flipped it over and I hang them on this ledge back here and this square part which usually goes over the door is like the perfect shape to hold this light so is it perfect absolutely not does it fall all the time but you know it actually works out pretty well and it's not hard to like adjust it It just kind of moves in there and it's like really convenient so yeah I don't know that works for me for the rest of my makeup this actual desk here is it's called the Sloan desk or the girl from entourage is named Sloan so that's how I remember that but um, someday I'd like to turn this into a cute little laptop area but for right now it works great for makeup. Sorry right here, this is something that I've had forever literally, but it um, is really perfect for makeup because it has this like flip top thing, so you don't actually have to be able to shut it, it just kind of stays like that. Um, and it kind of matches everything else I have going on with the clear and the black. What is this? Oh. These are all of my um, jumbo eye pencils that just all fit in there perfectly, so I just keep them in there. Um, this is all my face stuff, so I have like everything from face primer, eye primer, under eye concealers, color correctors. Um, this is a brush I do my eyebrows with, so I just keep it over here because it's double ended and don't really know what to do with those kinds of brushes. Um, I have some foundation, I have some highlighter, liquid highlighter, my NARS multiple highlighter in Copacabana. So that's just like my face stuff. I do have some other foundations and stuff down here that usually fit in there, but I can't decide which ones I want to wear, I guess, so they're just kind of chilling down here. Um, get to that in a second, though. And here I have my face wipes it's an easy place to put them yeah I'm gonna smash those I used to have it super organized as far as what was in here but right now it's basically just concealers that I would never see if I put in the top part so they're too small to like put in that because they would just fall to the bottom so I keep them in here some kabuki brushes from a face um, my under eye setting powder my face setting powder I have this empty quad which I'll usually take I don't know. These quads are like, they don't even have enough spots in them for me to fit enough me eyeshadow in. So they're kind of uh, pointless for me. But, you know, I have that in there in case I need it. Um, also have some, what the heck, some eyebrow grooming things if I could get them out. Oh, yeah. A little spoolie brush for when I do my eyebrows. Tweezers, brow trim, tape. Yeah. 
Then, this is all bronzers, basically. Um, faux tan, NARS, which is actually empty, so I don't even know why that's in there. My bronze booster, soft lights, Laura Mercier, faux tan. Those are basically my bronzers. Um, then I've got mascara, false eyelashes. This is for my, yeah, brow gel. Um, these are just like the cream color, or not cream color bases, but painterly, what am I talking about? MAC paint pots and stuff that I use the most. So I have like painterly in here. I have ab, or not abstract, artifact. I have um, constructivist. I have RSVP by benefit. I have a couple of potted eyeliners. What's this one? Oh, my Stila Smudge Pot and Kitten. So these are the ones I use the most. I do have other ones in another set of drawers upstairs. I just have a bunch of extra makeup, like my mineral makeup, because that never goes bad. Um, just like not in that you know phase right now at this moment. Um, brush cleaner. This is my little philosophy sample size Miracle Anti-Aging Eye Cream, which is pretty nice. Matte Velvet Plus. This one up here was my HD Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, super glue. <laughs> I needed this to glue um, glue the magnetic part back into one of my palettes, so I have to do that. It's just sitting there reminding me. HD Elixir. Um, this is Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting, which I think I'm going to do a video on this. And if you're wondering, I don't believe it's edible. But, um, <laughs> despite the name, but it is really cool. It's like a bronzer type thing for your face and body, which sounds really scary, but it's actually really nice. Um, this is Ole Definity. Yeah, this is my nighttime cream. And these are the best little makeup remover pads in the world. So I use these. And I use these, like, mostly for my eye area, the All My ones. They're just so convenient. I've been using them for years and years. These are my brushes. Um... Usually I have more than this. I have a bunch of clips clipped onto this little thing to for my hair and stuff. The left side here, this is just um, plastic containers from Michaels. They're not fancy at all. And I've tried every single thing to fill them with under the sun. Basically, beanbag filler definitely works the best. It's just the perfect consistency. It's, these are basically my face brushes. Um, these are my eyeshadow shader type brushes and whatnot. Mostly Sigma, Coastal Scents, and MAC. Um... Love those. Give you a bird's eye view. I wish I had organized them a little bit nicer for you. They really do look pretty when they're organized, but you know how that goes. So, if you guys have followed my little antics, you might know that I was on the hunt for a makeup organizer for a really, really long time, and I wanted something that was kind of contemporary, fit with the rest of my room. So I got the, and I, most importantly, need to be able to see everything I have, like, flat. Like, if I have stuff piled on top of another I will forget that that stuff's there for like a year and then totally forget I even have it like out of sight out of mind I'm like a child <laughs> so I hate finding stuff that I haven't worn in a really long time and it's totally no good and I have to throw it away I hate that I hate that so much it's such a waste of money so I wanted to find shallow drawers where you could just store everything in one single layer like that and see everything you have so I went to Muji um these are from Muji. I'll provide the website for you, but I will warn you that they are most times not in stock. I have two sets. These are th a three drawer set, two three drawer sets stacked on top of each other, and you would think that they would move around and slide around and stuff. They're actually really hard to move. Once you put it on, once you stack them, they don't go anywhere. Like it's awesome. They're not slippery or anything. They do get fingerprints on them. They get a little dusty and dirty, which kind of stinks, but I don't mind that because it encourages me to keep everything clean. Um, yeah. Ignore that little spot. That's nothing. Um, okay. Basically, I just have everything organized from, oh yeah, these are little tissues over here. I don't have any room for them, so I stick them over there and you totally can't see them. So it works really well. Only I know they're there. Okay. Anyways, so... I have this basically from eyes down to lips organized. This is my single eyeshadows. Don't have a lot of stuff in here because most of them are in my palettes. Um, but I have like MAC, little MAC palette, some Maybelline quads, Urban Decay, single eyeshadows. These are a bunch of Smashbox single eyeshadows. Um, this is one random L'Oreal one from a long time ago. I should probably get rid of that. Um, this is eyeliner. You guys are going to think I'm nuts. 
So these also pull out right away. So if you have something that's really light, be careful because it'll just like whip right out of there. Um, you're going to think I'm nuts for storing my eyeliners like this. But like I said, if they're just in a can, I will lose the little ones that fall down to the bottom. I will forget that half the colors I even have because you can't see them. Since eyeliners double for bases, I you put my other bases in here too, like my shade sticks and things like that. I just have a ton of different eyeliners. This is an Urban Decay liquid liner. So those are all those. And then this is basically my blush base drawer. So like cream blushes, um, cream colored bases, those kind of things, except for this. This just didn't fit in the other one, so I put it in here. Um, these are my MAC cream color bases. These, um, it's a hard candy blush from Walmart. Steal a convertible color, which is really, really nice. Um, this is kind of along the same lines. Bobbi Brown Cheek Color in Cabo Coral, and that's for your cheeks and your lips. This is one of my favorite products. Um, just recently did a video on that. And I'll link to that below if you guys want to check this out. Seriously, this is amazing. Um, and then this is some HD Cream Blush. These are NYC Blushable Cream Sticks from the drugstore. They make really great blush bases. So I just kind of keep it pared down to things that I use a lot. Um, blushes are going to be problematic pretty soon, though, because I'm already running out of room. Uh, I don't know. Um, this is one of my favorites, Lancome Shimmer Mandarin Sky. I have some Ilmasca blushes, Bella Bomba, Smashbox. I love these CoverGirl cheekers, except for the fact that they stink up the rest of your blushes, because they have that horrible, horrible, you know, what I'm talking about, um, makeup smell. This whole drawer, like, reeks of it. It's bad, actually, yeah. They're really cute cool blushes. I like those a lot. Um, Laura Mercier. This is one of my favorite um, skin finishes. MAC. I forget what it's called always. Oh yeah. Gentle Mineralized Blush, I guess. And um, <clears throat> this is lipsticks. So lots of MAC. Lots of other drugstore ones. Lip liners. Um, lipstick type products that are in like more of a stick form as opposed to lipstick. I just kind of keep them on the side. These are my lip glosses. This is the prettiest drawer. It's so colorful. Probably surprised to see I don't have like an entire drawer devoted to MAC. Um, I could if I tried, but right now I just have diversified. I like to try other brands too. Okay, so that's pretty much it for my actual, well, my makeup down here. <laughs> These are my palettes. These are Coastal Scents. This is like a Wish palette from Smashbox. I have a Laura Geller blush one back here. These are some of my MAC palettes. These are um, apothecary jars with like, you know, Q-tips, cosmetic wedges. I just think they're cute. This is the coolest thing ever. This is a little zebra striped pot I got at Lowe's. And this is actually Ivy, which is really cool. I don't know how long I'll actually be able to keep it in here because it is like going to grow all over my makeup, which would kind of be really cool but not inside um those are just some little tea lights candle things i got those they have little birds on them they're cute i got those at michael's um and my little monkey josh got me this in south africa a big chest that my landlord gave me and i really liked it because it was this cool coral color and i just keep all my little trinkets on there um recently my jewelry box has kind of found its way all shells trinkets this is a necklace koi fish necklace these are bookend things I got up here one a long time ago and now they just hold my bangles so it's kind of weird but um, it works this is actually a cool candle holder I don't know if you can see but that's a candle holder inside of there and it holds my thicker bangles um, that's kind of nice because you can just like see everything you have this is my favorite that vase with those branches um, got that vase at Target and I actually love decorating with branches. Those are from a willow tree. If you're wondering what this is, these are some Spanish tiles my boyfriend brought back from Spain and some glass beads and they both spell out Jad. Jad. That's what he calls me. It's a super long story. I'm not going to go into it, but this carpet is awesome. It's kind of a really cool like botanical oriental rug. Oh, you can see my cord. Yeah, I have a light plugged in. I feel like my style is very botanical. I have a lot of little tropical type accents going on, so it works with the room pretty well. This I'm actually really proud of. I got this candle at Michael's and it has this cool like saying written on it and it has that really cool bird. And I'm never going to burn it because it's so pretty. And I got the Hurricane, the actual glass thing at Michael's too. And then filled it with these decorative stones from Crate and Barrel. So I was really proud of that little decoration there that I made. This is from Michael's. It's a fake little plant. Um, flea market. 
little other little things I keep on there. Those are my baskets with my clutches, my um, belt. I keep them rolled up in there. Hair stuff down there, and then I have my plant. Um, this is my jewelry case, which needs organized, which is um, it's a good thing it's closed because it really, really needs organized. This is a picture of me when I had really dark hair. You guys are asking, oop, glare. You guys are asking about that, so there it is. And Josh, that was like two summers ago. This is a really cool box I got at, oh, this is lip gloss. Um, a really cool box I got in another antique mall type place. So, yeah, I really do. You can find a lot of cool stuff. I don't know if you can really see that, but it has like shell polka dots. It's really pretty. And this, you might recognize this plant. This is in the background of my um, old setup. I don't know if I'm calling I'm calling it my old setup. I guess it is. I think I'm going to be filming down here. I love this plant so much, and it's totally fake. That's my room. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to do a really quick outfit of the day for you on a clean part of the carpet. Here we go. These are my shoes. I got these. These are Michael Kors. I got these at DSW, and I don't know if you can tell. They are worn in. I absolutely love them. You can find some really great deals at DSW. These jeans. I don't know how to do this. How do people do these? Okay. This, these jeans are just those hue, like, leggings I was talking about. This shirt is from, like, Forever 21. It has that little beaded detail on the side. And these necklaces were a gift from a friend for my B-Day. Um, I literally found this jacket in my closet yesterday. So, I don't really know. I, with the tags on, everything. I have no idea where it came from, but I really like it. <laughs> um, I think it's probably from Macy's. So. My outfit of the day scales clearly um, are poor and they need some work, but um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you guys, all my subscribers, and I appreciate your patience because I know it took me a while to actually get this video up, and um, that about does it for my room tour, so um, yeah, until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.